Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to automatically match colors for composite images in Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. Today's episode is nice and quick, but it's so useful. Anytime you're trying to composite a subject into a background, you run the risk of having those colors not match. Thankfully, there's a tool that does this automatically in Photoshop. So in this episode, we'll show you how to use it, some tips and tricks along the way, and get your composites looking super realistic in no time. Here in Photoshop, we have both of our images that we're going to composite together. Now, to save some time, I've already cut my subject out of the background, so I'm just gonna enable the layer mask by holding shift and clicking on this layer mask. Now, if you need any help at all cutting your subjects out of their backgrounds, we have a wonderful tutorial that's going to help you out. So we've cut our subject out. We're gonna go ahead and bring in our background image. So let's hold shift. I'm gonna click and drag from one image to another, and we're just gonna move our layer right down. There we go. Now we actually don't need our background anymore, so let's hit F for full screen. And I'm gonna hit Control or Command T. In this case, I'm just gonna scale this up just a little bit. There we go. And I think that looks really, really nice right there. So we're looking pretty decent. The only thing is these colors really don't match. We have so much blue in the background and really pretty warm colors in the foreground. And that's kind of throwing off the composite itself. So introducing our automatic tool that helps us match colors in Photoshop. Now, there is one small downside to this effect is that it will permanently apply this effect to your layer and you can't use it on smart objects either. So what I recommend is just duplicating the layer that your subject's on so you can go back to the original color if you need to. So let's go ahead and do that. Control or Command J to duplicate that layer and then we're only gonna apply this effect on one of these subjects. And again, we'll have this other one as a backup whenever we need it. Let's go ahead and click on our subject. We're gonna to go to image, down to adjustments, and over to match color. There we go. So now we just need to choose where we're going to match. So here's our source. You can see we have one document open. This is subject.psb. This is what's open. And once you choose your source, this is gonna list all your open documents. So the nice thing is you can actually match color from one document to a completely different document. In this case, we already have our background loaded in, so we'll just choose the same document. So we're choosing this document and it's asking us what layer. So we can see layer one is my background. So we'll just click here and go to layer one and it pulls the colors from layer one and then applies them onto this layer. Again, this is destructive, meaning this is a permanent change. Now, we're not done yet because we have some options here. We can choose to adjust our luminance, which will be our bright or dark levels. Okay, let's go ahead and adjust that a little bit brighter. Your color intensity, this is basically like saturation. There we go. And then you have a fade. Now, fade and neutralize are super important because they help you look realistic. At this point, it's like, yeah, the colors do match, but like, come on, his skin shouldn't be that blue. So let's go ahead and click on neutralize, which just kind of like calms it down just a little bit. And then your fade allows you to just fade out the effect. So every image is going to be a little bit different, but you're gonna to wanna to choose somewhere along these sliders, a place that actually works for you. And in this case, uh, right here, just type in 20, seems to work pretty well. Now you can download these images on flurn.com. Just follow the link on your screen right now or right down below. So here's the before, really pretty warm colors, doesn't fit so much. And there's the after, these cool colors are fitting much, much better. Let's hit okay and we are done. Now again, keep in mind that is a permanent change to this layer. So if you wanna get your backup, you just wanna have a duplicate of your layer. And then in this case, I'm actually just gonna bring my background up just a little bit more. All right, we'll stretch it out a little bit more. Saw a little bit of the road back there, but there we go. I think that looks wonderful. And we've perfectly matched colors in our composite in just a couple minutes. Now it is an automatic tool in Photoshop. It kind of does the work for you, which means it's gonna work really well sometimes and other times it's not gonna work as well. So always keep in mind, if you need to do any more color adjustments on your own, you should definitely do so to help your composites look realistic. If you like this video, hit that big thumbs up 
<laughs> give us a subscribe. We'll send you free tutorials every single week. Thank you so much. I'll learn you later. Bye everyone. This is my new Worian case, Ooh! which contains all my little plant friends. Let's take the lid off. What a wonderful little rainforest we've got in here. We've got some Salaginella, some Talansias, some different types of moss, some obsidian, and of course, Yoda. Huh. Temperate climate this is. Perfect for capturing humidity. Not quite like Dagobah, but I like it. <laughs>